Okay, so when we look into what we are going to build again, just sort of like the overview, we have a single page application that displays uh, art designs uh, that can be done on two walls, interior walls, and for decoration purposes. And yeah, with various colors and various artistic designs. Also, um, like you, if you look down here, down here, we have this kind of a mandala, yeah, ma mandala kind of design, and yeah, with different colors. And if you look, if you look at the details, kind kind of had the art code, and then the price per meter square, and then. Maybe a button. This button is not functional at the moment, but yeah, as we progress, we are going to make it function, function uh, as to what we. I'm not just. I'm not just sure what we are going to do with, do with this button yet. So I just put it here, and it's not really doing anything. Just for maybe in future we can update it or uh, use it for something else. And then we have the color. So if you look here, I think it's gold and then something like a gray or silvery color. Yeah, so it, di it displays the colors being used for the specific design. And users can also select the colors that they, they want to be used. And yeah, and then there's a close button here that you can close. So there's for each of them, there's a modal um, that has the, I that sends the ID and then it's, just looks um, filter through the list and then select the specific one that has been chosen by the user and then displays the uh, related information. Okay, so let's dive into the code. Yeah, so right off the back we have our pages. Um, we have our page file and we we are having some imports here. Uh, that's just a standard import. We have the re React import and then the use state from React. And we declared this use client just indicating that we are going to use um, the client side uh, rendering. Yes, because because of uh, Next.js. Okay, so we have styles from the page.modules, module.css. Well, I'm going to include all this file. I'm going to include the project files into in the description. So please subscribe and like the video. Also share the video and support the channel, guys. So um, I'm going to include all these project folder files or folders into the video this video description. So make sure you check it out if you are interested in maybe in downloading the source code and probably making tweaking it to your own preference or uh, updating it to suit your, your requirements okay so <laughs> there, there is this styles from page.module.css which you can find just here and yeah the okay so this page.module.css was created when I uh, initialized the project uh, by running the uh, create, uh, create uh, next uh, app at latest. And it came with some code where I removed all the code and uh, placed this, this. This is what I'm going to need in my project. And these are all, as you can see, it's not a lot of, of uh, lines. It's not a lot of code. All right, so back to the page.js. We have on this line, import listings from mocks uh, slash listings. Okay, so if you look into the mocks folder, I have this mock folder, which uh, I have the listings, which includes all the information of the list, the ads gallery, and which has the images called the thumbnail and we have the name for each there's a price uh, there's an id for each and the colors that has been used in the art design for each of the objects so if you look we have uh, about 12 or 11 items here and so yeah that's kind of it's, it's nothing crazy it's just the listings and we are exporting the listings yeah 
right so when we go back again into the pay.js and we also have um, item item model from components item uh, from from components folder here we will look at it uh, a bit later as we move on and uh, so we on this line we just uh, declared our class uh, we declare yeah our component name we have a function we export the default function home and we have a couple of states here we have the show and such we have the show here uh, with this function and then we have the initial value as false and then we have uh, also selected here for and then set select and we have the initial value maybe i can set it now all right so all right, so these two states uh, are the ones that controls the model yeah this model that we imported we imported from the component folder this show is handles whether to show or hide the model and then this selected and set selected mod uh, function is used to set um, the selected item by the user okay so on this line we also have a, an on show item and then the item id as a parameter and within the function function body we have a cell variable which is a temporary variable that holds uh, the which holds the value of the selected item which we get by looping through these listings remember we got these listings from this mock folder and listings here this here are the items because we are not using any database at the moment we are just uh, having all these hard-coded body values that we are using in the project we are going to use the database uh, in the next episode all right we are going to use mysql database for storing and yeah and yeah show sure, sh yeah sure so this is nothing crazy again so listing is it's it's an array so we look through the array to filter uh, this item um, here we look for the item dot id which is this this item has its id as a number and then we check if this item id that we got from the um, from the function function parameter if it matches then yeah it's it uh, it just brings out the information for us and then on this line we are select we are just setting the selection the selected yeah the selected state we are selected it to whatever item that you just selected okay and i'm just running a few checks here and saying if this cell is selected if cell brings any value and uh, yeah i want to select the first value and set it to selected else just set it it's back to now and then here we are setting set show for the modal okay so we also have a handle a handle close here and we are just saying set show we are just setting set show to false okay so when we come to the html like uh the what we are returning for the page content is this we have um this uh, structure and if you look at this title we have it here and i think it's showing here this is what is showing here and okay we have a break here and we have some div um, elements and then we in the div element we are just looping through the list it listings uh, which is the list again from here and then we we are are displaying them onto item card so here i think it is about time we go to the item card so this is found in here components item card so we look into the component folder there is an item card component here so yeah um this use state is not being used so i remove it and then we yeah so we import react again we import image from next slash image and so in the function with the parameters with the props sorry with these props we have we are looking for the name the price id and then the thumbnail well in a real uh, real world application 
you you can add like a uh, prop types that to check um, to check or to validate the props okay so uh, probably you might you may want to check if the you want it to be an, uh, a number a string or like those kind of stuff yeah and then you can just force force the required values uh, before a child element or a, a child component sorry is rendered okay so um, we are returning this element here it's, uh, it's just something simple just a line of uh, two about two stuff uh, properties and the image here uh, we are setting the source to thumbnail remember which is a prop here and we are setting the alt here the name and then id uh, yeah we are just concatenating it here uh, so it's, it's a bit crazy just i just don't didn't know what to put there so i just put something there we which uh, this guarantees that every time it's going to give us like a, a unique uh, alt value here because the ids are always unique here and then we have the width uh, 250 px we also have the height as 250 px and then under it we have the name and then uh, displaying the price as well and then you can also choose to change the uh, um, the currency symbol which is uh, if if you are able to download the code or pull it so this is what is showing here you can see the thumbnail here you see the title the, the name sorry and then you can see the price so this is it it's quite simple and then we have um, okay I think we go back here we go back to the page.js uh, yes so right here in our map method we have this wrapping element that uh, we set an on click event on to so we say on show item dot bind this element uh, and then the second argument is the uh, item dot id so which i think i've already explained uh, on show item so what it does is just on show item just um well the name is confusing but i think we'll roll with it uh, <laughs> there is sorry about that but this on show item function just uh, it just requires an id parameter and then looks through the listings and then selects a match of the id the object and set it to the selected um selected state here and then yeah you can proceed to sh show all right so it's quite simple you just select the item set it to the selected item and then display the model okay so on this line we are simply show displaying the model so we look for show the value if show is true and uh, this is just a shorthand if show is true and selected is also non null or has a value then you can proceed to display the model okay so this model also has a props so it's requ it requires the item which to display or to the selected item and then it also has a function here which is to close the modal okay so um, let's take a look real quick at the item modal this is the item modal um, it's a lot a lot same as the other one I mean the item card but just a few difference we have our import app here the styles and then the image again from next.js and in here we have the item as prop and then we also have the close as prop which is a function if you look here that's exactly what we are doing here so these are the values so we get them here and what i do is on this line i destructure the item so the uh, for each item it has thumbnail name id price and then colors for each item so I just destructure it just to make my code look cleaner a bit uh, instead of doing item item dot name item dot ID item dot uh, thumbnail item dot anything I just destructure it here and then use it straight or uh, directly just use it straight in the code here I think it makes it cleaner yeah 
All right, so on this line, we have handle close, which just returns close, uh, the cl this close um, function, which in turn is just closes the mode down. All right, so yeah, we have here the thumbnail. We are just displaying the thumbnail. Here we have the size as different. The size is 400 by 400, 400 in width, and the height also 400. We have the details, the name, the price, and then the... Uh, like the sort of the measurement like per meter square of this design is thousand five hundred dollars it's not realistic but this is just 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 something for um yeah this is the name this is where we are displaying the price and per meter square the sort of the measurement and then there's a button here as you can see there's no function there's no events linked here uh when we are going to do when we are going to program for the back end which is for the api side and then um, design our database that is when we are going to put the button like a um, request for more information on the selected item or just book um something like add i'm just not uh, decided on it yet so i think yeah there's a lot of things we can do with it or if you have any idea too you can just leave a comment and let's see what we can do about it okay so this is uh, this is also a, a div a div elements and then we are displaying the colors which uh, for every color is an array so we are free to map through and then we have the color here and then the index we also display them here and then we set we set the background of the div element as uh, the color of the design of the height as 50 width at 50 it's just and then the background color as the color this is the color here and if we take a look again at uh where's the mock folder okay when we take a look again here at our listing data we have colors the colors uh, key and then we have some colors within them okay so that is what we are using here okay so guys that's it for this folder i mean this for this file and then we also have this component which is navbar this is the navbar just very simple one that we are using but we are going to update them to look very good uh, in the near future in the coming episodes um so yeah, I think that's ab that's about it. If you have any comments, if you have any questions, and if you have any suggestions, if there is anything I didn't go through, I didn't go over, uh, please just uh, let me know in the comments and we'll take a look at it. Thanks a lot. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a like as well. And yeah, I'll catch you in the future episodes.